Since the creation of the web in 1989, there has been an increase in the use of internet. Used to communicate and source information, the online community is increasing every year. As Australians, we are spending more time and doing more online. However, there are still numbers of people around our country who do not have a digital advantage, and this is called the digital divide. Do you have a phone charger? Ah, oh, no, sorry. Oh, damn it, that's alright. I just, my phone's dead and I have no way of doing anything without it, so that's right. This is waste of time. It's been another hour. Oh, that's right. Um, did you want to invite Phoebe over for tomorrow as well? Oh yeah, she doesn't have a phone, does she? Does she know the event's happening? Oh, she doesn't even have Facebook. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, well, I guess she just won't make it then. Hmm. Alright, sweet. I'll see you then. Bye. The digital divide is a gap between those who have access to technology and those who don't or have restricted access. The divide exists typically between rural areas and cities or uneducated people and those educated, just to name a few. It also is evident through lower income and minority groups as it's hard to access affordable technology resulting in buying lower performing uh, computers, lower performing wireless connections and limited access to subscription based content. Another major factor causing the close of the divide is the use of smartphones. Social media has taken off in the past years and the use of communicating over calls and through mail is slowly decreasing. And social media apps are on the rise as it's becoming easier to socialize as well as be up to date um, through photos and videos all on the one app. So I'll have to sing for you and just waste my time. This is a waste of time. It's been another hour. The costs of phones and data plans are not always accessible. I've sourced some information from, you guessed it, the internet, and found some useful info from digitalinclusionindexed.org.au that talks about digital inclusion and its importance in Australia. It states digital inclusion is based on the premise that everyone should be able to make full use of digital technologies to manage their health and well-being, access education and services, organise their finances and connect with friends, family and the world beyond. The Australian Digital Inclusion Index has been created to measure the digital inclusion across Australia's population and to monitor the levels over time. As more and more daily interactions and activities are moving online, including vital, vital services uh, such as online banking, for example, um, it is important to keep all of Australia up to date. However, all of these activities online cannot be shared um, to some groups and individuals as they are still facing obstacles to their participation. 
ADII also states in its findings that across the country, digital inclusion is clearly influenced by differences in income, education levels and geography of socioeconomic disadvantage. The ADII also provided me with statistics showing our national score, 100 representing a perfect score. And Australia scored a 60.2 in 2018, which is a 6.2 increase over the last four years from 2014 score of 54. This performance shows progress in the digital divide and can be recognised as the result from the uptake of MBN services in Australia. As Bill Murray expresses in his NBN project article, four million homes and businesses have now connected to the NBM. 58 coming from regional and rural Australia. This is a great usage increase for the digital divide. However, there is still a lot to go for Australia all to be up to date with their digital usage and for us all to be on equal advantage and opportunity to the digital advances in today's society. And thank you so much for watching. Goodbye. I do feel I can't keep it inside